it was wonderful to be among colleagues from all across the country, uh, all different political persuasions representing the whole American spectrum. And what a privilege to be there on behalf of the folks in the Hudson Valley, which is why I always wear uh, this other pin uh, that's very important. And that's uh, a pin, obviously, with an American flag, but also the VFW. Uh, seal on it because uh, one of my very good friends was the state commander of the VFW. So I always remember that I'm here I, and I have been here to serve folks in our district and never to forget how we've gotten the freedoms that we have through the work of our veterans. Well, uh, in the ballot uh, this year will have my name on three lines, not just on two lines. So the Independence Party primary on June 24th, which I won, uh, and uh, that was against Representative Maloney, um, is, a, is a big help for us because folks from uh, all different places in uh, the community will come to vote on the independence line. So that's one conspicuous uh, opportunity for us. And of course, uh, in a midterm election, um, you know, the turnout tends to be a little bit different. Um, the president won't be on the ballot. Uh, I'll be on the independence line with Governor Cuomo. So uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, wins going in our favor this time. Well, I would say, I always say I'm the Hudson Valley candidate, and my record certainly uh, speaks to a very centrist uh, approach, which is appropriate. I'm someone whose career was uh, as, a, as a servant of my patients, regardless of uh, what their politics were. And the same is true of being a member of Congress. I have to serve every one of our constituents. So in a district like ours, we have the whole spectrum. And so, you know, it's very important to work cooperatively across the aisle to make progress, to uh, be sure that, you know, we're creating light, not not just heat, but, but light. And that means moving forward, uh, even if it's just in small bits, that's far better than, uh, than standing still. We have a lot of friends and a lot of support. I am fully committed, of course, and uh, my husband and I uh, have uh, worked very hard and saved uh, over the years. We live in the same house uh, we first moved into when uh, we moved here 25 years ago to uh, uh, Westchester County. Uh, so I'm fully committed to making sure that uh, we have the resources we need to win this election for the right reasons. Uh, I'm the right fit for the Hudson Valley. He's demonstrated that he's uh, out of touch. There's an air of privilege about uh, Representative Maloney. Um, he uh, uh, it's crystallized really in uh, the fact that he publicized uh, using a uh, a drone for his wedding that's forbidden by uh, FAA regulations. I mean, it uh, would be nice if all of us uh, could just disregard the law that way, but we can't. And he sits on the committee that has jurisdiction over the FAA, so we certainly should have known. Uh, and that is emblematic of a certain approach. Uh, I am special. Uh, there's a sort of Washington-centeredness uh, uh, to his point of view that uh, doesn't sit well in the Hudson Valley. And I. Uh, have had a great privilege of uh, raising my children and caring for patients and having my small business uh, for all those years in the Hudson Valley. And that gives me a lot of perspective on uh, the kind of problems folks face every day uh, when they're trying to make sure that uh, they can put food on the table and have a, a job in the Hudson Valley, have the health care that they can afford and that they prefer. Um, I can be helpful in all those ways to the folks I'm seeking to serve. Well, I'd be happy to have uh, any one of uh, my friends who uh, tend to make those kinds of trips, uh, folks in leadership. Uh, we have uh, uh, obviously uh, Speaker Boehner's come to the district and was uh, very much liked. Uh, new majority leader, incoming majority leader Kevin McCarthy is a very good friend and has also uh, come to New York for us. And uh, I would be delighted, uh, you know, uh, Tom Price, who is uh, uh, one of our physician colleagues and a great leader for the Republicans, uh, has come to the district um, and uh, plans to again, I'm pretty sure. So uh, we'll be happy to see any and all of them.